The pandemic has taken a heavy toll on people with intellectual and developmental disabilities across the country. Right now, many of them still don't have access to the COVID-19 vaccine, and some families are going to great lengths to get their loved ones the shot before it's too late. Yeah. Nicholas Hemachandra is a social 20 year old. He loves to stay active and volunteers at a hospital near his home in Western North Carolina. But when the pandemic eliminated most of his favorite activities last spring, the young man with autism was forced to isolate at home to protect his health. He goes on walks. That's what he does. He goes on walks and then he comes home and plays games and it's been a very difficult time. Last fall, people with disabilities under 65 that have at least one chronic condition in North Carolina were prioritized in group two of the state's vaccine rollout. In January, they were dropped to group four. Despite growing evidence, people with IDD are three times more likely to die as a result of COVID-19. Desperate to keep his son safe, Nicholas's father, Ray, drove across state lines to Newport, Tennessee to get him the vaccine. It was enormous emotional relief and feeling of tears because it's been so long worried about his well-being. Tennessee was the first state in the country to begin vaccinating people with disabilities 18 and older who do not live independently. Several thousand have now received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. At the end of the day, it was the right thing to do. We want to make sure that we are providing a voice for the population in Tennessee that needs the vaccine that have disabilities. And people with the highest risk should be getting vaccinated. Lisa Poti, deputy director of the ARC of NC, is now urging every state to follow Tennessee's lead. After initially denying the nonprofit's request to move up all people with IDD on the vaccine priority list, North Carolina leaders changed course. The state's governor announcing Tuesday it will now open vaccination opportunities to more people following recent approval of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Poti believes weeks of advocacy paid off, but says the message was clear. We've done this to people with IDD for decades and families are tired of it. And now they see it happening with a COVID vaccine. In their minds, it's that same thing over again. You're putting us at the back of the line again. We're being dismissed. Nicholas will receive his second shot later this month and is one step closer to returning to life as normal. While his father is happy, North Carolina is finally prioritizing people like his son. He worries others in the IDD community across the country are being left behind. It makes me feel outraged and ashamed. It's lives have been lost in North Carolina and lives have been saved in Tennessee because of the way those two states chose to set policy. And it was a choice. Just this week, North Carolina announced people with IDD receiving home and community based services can now get the shot immediately. People with Down syndrome will be eligible later this month. Meantime, Tennessee leaders say they hope to make the vaccine available to all people with IDD as soon as possible.